I'm Gamiel Hall. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The St. Thomas women's track and field team heads into the weekend focused on the Indoor MIAC Championships, which will be held in the St. Thomas Fieldhouse Thursday through Saturday. Kayla Janto ran the MIAC's best 800 meter dash of the season at last week's Minnesota Open at two minutes and 15 seconds. As a thrower, Allison Mellon has improved her weight throw mark from last year by over two feet. I'm joined today by head coach Joe Sweeney, Kayla Janto, and Allison Mellon. Thanks for joining us, guys. Great to be here. Now, coach, you are currently in your 37th season as a women's track and field coach, making you the longest tenured head coach in St. Thomas history. What makes this year and this team stand out to you? Well, I think that uh, we're, we're, we're very balanced. I think that, you know, we always try to stress a total team effort and having, having uh, strength in all the events. And this team uh, particularly is, is, is that way. We have, uh, you know, just good strength and probably more strength in the field events than, than, than we ever had before. And uh, the track events complement that. And that's really what, uh, what success in track is all about, just covering all the events and what we call a total team effort that works for us. And Kayla, it seems like you clock in a personal record every time you run the 800 meter dash. How do you consistently improve every meet and can you do it again on Friday? <laughs> well that will be the hope, yes. Um, I just try and take it race by race and try and do my best each day and if that turns into a personal best that's great but um, I just try and give forth my best effort every time I step onto the track and if it turns into a PR that's great. <laughs> and Allison, Track and field is often overlooked as just a running sport, but mm -hmm. as you know, being a thrower, there's more to the sport than what goes on on the track. Why is each individual event, including yours, so important? You know, track and field is meant to cover all these different aspects of athleticism. You know, there's jumps, there's sprints, there's distance. Like, I mean, I wouldn't want to be running any more than a mile. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, everyone has their own individual strengths, and I think it as a whole speaks to how everyone is so different and so individual in their own way and it's kind of nice to have that feeling of getting to feel really special and good at something that you, you know you can excel in. And this is to all of you. Uh, the women's track and field team has not lost an indoor MIAC championship since 1999. What would it mean to you to keep the streak going and win another MIAC championship? Well every year I mean the expectations are high and uh, I just think that uh, you know, every, everybody, everybody is just always, always focused on what's in front of us. I think they're really proud of our, of our tradition, but we don't really think that much about that. And we're just, I think that's probably been one of the keys to our success is, is every season um, has its own kind of ident identity and, 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 and people. And, um, and so we're just really focused on, on this season. And uh, it's, I know it's very important to the, uh, to the 65 athletes we have on our team to win this one. Yeah, it would mean a lot to keep that tradition going. Um, it's always a special thing as I see um, the girls ahead of me graduating and I see them having, um, being able to say that they were a part of eight straight conference champ uh, championship teams. It's really a special thing to go out saying that. Um, so for my senior year in Allison's as well, I think that would mean a lot for us to be able to do that. Yeah, I mean, like, senior year is always a plus, but, um, I mean, our program, like, we have so many, like, Sweeney has all these, like, acronyms that he uses, and it's like UST, TTE, Total Team Effort, JWB, Just Win Baby, and, like, it's one of those, like, we all have this common theme of wanting to do well and individually do well, but, like, I've seen so many athletes run back and forth saying, hey, how'd you do in this event? Like, you know, and we're all just so excited for each other's individuals that, you know, eventually it leads to a win. But I feel like we care so much about each other and just like, you know, performing well. And it just happens to bring that about. So, I mean, if we keep to our common theme of caring about each other and, like, you know, taking an interest and performing our best and doing what's right for our team, I think that we could do anything. All right. We'll be back after this short message. Barbers learn the traditional techniques of barbering. We utilize straight edge razors. We do a lot of clipper cuts, a lot of tapering, fading. I've been in this location for 12 years. I have uh, clients that have been cutting their hair since they were four years old. Get to have conversations with these kids and it keeps me on my toes. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Junior Steve Harrell wants to know, what do you think is the most iconic moment in track and field history? Let's we'll start us off. <laughs> for for St. Thomas or for Any, anything? Anything. Okay. Well, um, I'll just say for for St. Thomas, one thing one thing stands out, 
and that's um, we have a, a record that was set in 1983, 10,000 meter record by an athlete named Debbie Tometz, and uh, it was a, it, it was 33.50. I know it by heart. I watched it many years ago, and uh, it's it stood up to the test of time. It's the, it's the longest uh, held record in uh, in Division Three, and I'm, I'm really proud of, of that accomplishment, seeing that uh, that it stood up all these years. So that would be it for for St. Thomas. <laughs> I'll broaden the scope a little bit to all of track and field. This summer watching the um, Olympics, it was really cool for me to see um, the, the United States middle distance runner Matt Centrowitz win the 1500. It was the first time since 1908 that um, an American had won the 1500, so that was really cool to watch. Um, I'd say there was a 400 runner named Derek Redman. Um, Sweeney actually recently <laughs> shared a video with the whole team. Um, it was pretty emotional, but he was a 400 runner who tore his hamstring about halfway through the race, and he still finished. He got up, finished. His father finished with him, and um, so I mean, like, I mean, if coach is using it, that's a great moment. But I mean, we were all crying, having a good time. <laughs> but yeah, so that would be my favorite. If you have a fan question. Tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to check Tommy Media for all campus news. With Joe Sweeney, Kayla Janto, and Allison Mellon, I'm Gamiel Hall. We'll see you next time in the locker room.